Hello everybody, welcome to my Planes second round match live this time. Um, you know, Galentio I'm sure is going to be a reasonable person and not complain about any advice. And also I've instructed my chat to not give any advice. I'm obviously not going to look at my chat. I'm not going to listen to Fymir on comms. Fymir will not be, uh, you know, giving any advice, uh, you know. And uh, yep, so this is it. We're just 100% just going to stream it with uh, Fymir doing the commentary. And it should be glorious. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just concentrate on the match. So take it away, Fymir. All right, here we are. Second game of the pledging. I feel surprised, you know, they, they wanted an idiot without any idea of blue ball to don't get any risk here. They chose me. It's like unbelievable. But uh, Galentio and uh, Jimmy, they share uh, the same uh, league, the IRBB League, which is uh, mostly run uh, by uh, Erlen G and his pals. And they met here with Pro Elves versus Jimmy's uh, Dwarf Pro Elves that have not much to their name than uh, versus Dwarfs. Props to Valencia to choose uh, Pro Elves to this kind of tournament because it's a very it's a very tough race to play with such a low TV. I mean you can see he has a few dodge some one tackle, one wrestle, and one sneaky git. And uh, he chose to kick the ball, obviously counting with a chance to maybe stop a Jimmy, and if not stopping Jimmy, maybe have a shot at a one turn. Uh, going on yet, Galentio still uh, deciding. What of uh, Galentio? Someone. It's a rest format, so not many uh, issues. The whoever, whoever loses here. I think they still have another chance to qualify. They go to another uh, bracket. So there were people qualifying for the last 16, the in the money uh, spots with uh, with the results of you know having one defeat. So whoever lost here is not completely lost. This stream is not sponsored by uh, Go fuck yourself. anyone, as far as I know. We are uh, too honest or too stupid to get the uh, sponsorships. Oh, Galencio, oh, there you go. Vito coming with the first time child, giving results. Oh, pitch invasion. Three elves, three dwarves, but the ball. <laughs> the ball could be in trouble here. Big Chichi, uh, I was waiting for the half time, you know, to announce the country, but yes, it's Portugal uh, for now. We can't afford random countries anymore. Too expensive. Not worth it. Fantastic rolls by uh, Jimmy. Oh, well, at least get Sakeo out of it. 
Galencio with one uh, bench, but uh, no up as far as I can see. Mighty blow hit, nothing. Yeah, mighty blow, yeah. Mighty Blow is a classic skill for bad coaches, you know, that need extra help to roll well. A proper uh, coach doesn't need that kind of help. He got one KO on the LOS seats. Exactly, exactly. Like, uh, for God's sake, it's all on the grease, you know, when you throw the dice. And now, uh, Jimmy, this could be a situation that could be uh, complicated for Jimmy, anything bad happens. Because I think once uh, Jimmy gets uh, the ball, and design a formation or agrupation of players. I don't want to say, you know, any kind of advice or anything. That could make things difficult for Galencia. And Galencia has no, obviously has no guard, no leap. Also, I don't know if, you know, not giving advice to Jimmy, but what happens if I start giving advice to Galencio? Does Galencio get kicked kick out of the tournament? Well, Tom, there was a pitch invasion. You know, I started, you know, I started, you know, doing Galencio tactics and strategies, something like that, and uh, someone... <laughs> Someone makes a fake Twitch account, you know, it like, looks like Galencio. Join the stream. Oh, thanks for the advice. All right, maybe not, the boomer. Maybe not. Maybe not. It's a, it's a good joke, but it's the kind of thing that maybe it shouldn't be a. Uh, you know, it's the kind of thing it's funny to joke about, but not to do. What well, sounds liquor? Surprisingly, surprisingly, my name Faramir is nothing to do with Faramir. It was the name of my uh, cleric on uh, Dungeons and Dragons, years and years and years ago. I don't believe you. More or less. I was the fucking ambulance of the group. In second edition, uh, Kellerix didn't have much choice besides being a um, working um, ambulance. Oh! That's for it. That's it. Galencio applying uh, pressure. James Paints, you are a subscriber, you have, probably you've been here long enough. You don't uh, poke the GFI beast. Well, you could ask the two girls because most uh, of the, the infamous video it was fake. It was chocolate ice cream with uh, something else. And no, it wasn't the real thing. Gelato. Gelato, no gelatio, gelato.
which is the word for ice cream in Italian, which when you say in English, you know, I'm going to have a gelato ice cream, you are saying I'm going to have an ice cream ice cream. Oh, okay, lots of rolls, but uh, no, 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 no. In fact, when someone told me that the Faramir thing was much, much later, I was like, oh my god, it's true. Mm. I wouldn't have done that. But guess the power on the roll, follow up. Applying a little more pressure. And now that the catcher is the chance to uh, to do the dwarf, gets the pow. And it's a KO and Jimmy decides to use the apple. It's a guard dwarf, so dwarf, so Nice uh, blitz by Jimmy. Jimmy's thinking what to do, follow or not. And that's one uh, catch it out. Badly hard. Boom. And now the elves are left with not that many players. Two, four, six, eight. And one on the floor. Pretty well, another day, but everybody hates the worst. That's why nobody says that they are a main uh, dwarf coach. They just uh, lie uh, and say, No, no, I played uh, in this kind of format, you know, it's the best of so I've seen it, uh, you know, this morning ball.
Exactly, exactly. I have never met in my life a dwarf coach. Someone that actually says yes. I coach the dwarf because I have fun with him. Yeah, but Satter, but you, you, your uh, hobby is kill famous people. So, you know, again, that's, that's, you find that fun. It's like, oh, oh, one in nine in two pushes. Okay, Galencio moving uh, pieces one square here and there. I have to say, I'm not a big format of these uh, ultra low TV uh, tournament teams. It has been a fest of nearly exactly the same teams uh, playing against each other. Oh, mighty blow hit. Yes, it's done. Well, he has a sneaky good uh, uh, health, but with nine on the pitch right now and a maximum of ten up to the for the rest of the game in the second half. Hey, Crypto Nick. By the way, that Nick name carries weight in this uh, in this channel. So I hope you are, you know, up to the task of being a Nick. Yes, the uh, dwarves use the apple for the KO. But again, uh, getting the armor break and the cast with a foul there you go Elliot on point there being sure that nobody has fun today Man, the YouTube catch. I think the la the first time I heard that was ages and ages ago, and it was in one of Jimmy's uh, YouTube videos. It's impossible to know if we, we know what he if we know what he's doing or not because will be advice. Exactly. You are a subscriber, so you have some status here, but careful. I want to say that Elliot tamed out the Dontocellis. Meanwhile, I was trying to team, team, team out him too. So that's home point is uh, Elliot here with the 
fue de moderation. Exacto. Play with the best, die like the rest. That's a line from the movie, one of the that Angelina Jolie movie, which was about hackers or something like that. Is the only thing I remember from the movie. That line. One of the guys says something like that. Play with the best, like uh, die like the rest. I don't remember anything else besides Angelina Jolie. And Jimmy going for the dodge just to try to get the the chance maybe the miracle of achieving something there. In that the square is better, he's better than the square he was before. And we are now turn 5 for the else, so it's gonna be turn 6 for Jimmy, so Jimmy has to start moving more or less soon, but he's in a very good position. He will be able to move his uh, dwarfs uh, to squares. Oh, Blitz with a pow. Everybody is muted by the default in uh, Blue Ball 3. Well, they can emote. Uh, they can emote you, Elliot. Another armor break. Ah, yeah, of course, that, that should be the first thing that uh, uh, should be done in, a, in a, any game that has emotes to use with the opponent should, should have the instant mute. Jimmy seems he's going to move uh, at war four squares. Who knows if that's good or bad, it's impossible to know. We are not here for that. All of it. Both coaches uh, playing fast, not much time back in use. Again, it's absolutely impossible to know if that's a good or a bad thing.
and that was the blitz so seems that the uh, Galentio is trying to make as many blocks as possible One who is that's one of the elves is called a purple chase, a very well known uh, elf coach. Oh, armor break. Very good uh, turn for the results for uh, Galencio, not gonna lie. That's more or less as good as he could have expected. I don't know, uh, Jimmy. I don't know if Jimmy is thinking that, and I don't know if uh, playing uh, knobs is good or bad. Well, I know what the, the, the two option is, and it's not a good one. Now, a classic strategy in this kind of the last turn of the first half is for the attacking team trying to score. But sometimes some coaches decide not to score. That's a very good roll leaning on the rushes. Double push, double push. Like uh, when uh, Hong Kong's uh, good lady was uh, giving birth. And ended with someone spread the leg on the floor. Jimmy is pointing to some dwarves that maybe Kula have acted before doing that role. I can already listen to Artemis Black uh, sharpening the knives. Seems like Alencio found a way to hit the ball. Yes, and he, Galencio, spotted the 2D without any advice. Wait, how do... I'm back. 
Ah, there you go, there you go. There you go. <laughs> Ball on the floor. Turn is going to be turn eight for the dwarves. Sorry, ball not on the floor. Oh, there you go. Rolling six is like an actually professional. Oh, my God. There is an elf on the beach. And it's not only a, a regular elf, it's a, a catcher. And the Well, no, the one, no, the one again. <sighs> and uh, Galencio doesn't spend any. Any time and goes straight for the touchdown. Zero one for a Galenski. Not many removals, no, uh, but the KO stayed out, so yes, it's 10, uh, it's 10 elves versus a full team of dwarves. Has down a Galencio probably is feeling a sense of overconfidence that will reduce his equity in the game.
Y me voy en fuera Chevron Formation. Now, meanwhile, Galencio eh, is setting up his team. I was thinking, you know, the rules of the roger, the rat ogre now, you know, are the thing that attacks the, his own teammates. How long is going to be until Chanter tries to use that to hit one of his own players to get a chain? So he can make easier access to the ball. That's the bigger brain play that none of you are thought. And I'm really surprised that the Chandler hasn't tried it yet. Or, or maybe he has. Because now I remember that he doesn't stream anymore, so yeah, maybe who knows what happens on those games. Yeah. Official ref one uh, stand uh, elf. Did you just start knocked down? I thought it was a block. You know, to make it the more glorious. Oh, yeah, okay. You used to clear a square. Oh, even worse. Kill your own player to clear the square. So you can blitz with the rat, ogre. Okay. I'm very disappointed to the fact that it's not a block because if it was a block, the Rat Ogre could one and nine, get the bottom down, and uh, it would be a very, very fun uh, thing to watch. Ooh, one in nine, Turkey is about one in nines. Pick up the ball. And uh, I don't know you guys, but there is a chance that the uh, Galencia is not going for a DACA here. Still has a. I want to say still had a catcher to move, but yeah, he has left it in there. Yes, Galenso could have done a Daka there. Oh, Bali Hart. Good news for uh, Jim, that's one uh, less elf.
Another removal. Things going uh, swimmingly for uh, Jimmy this half, except for the fact that he's losing. There is uh, the possibility that uh, Galencio decides to do some dodge rolls this uh, turn. Or not. He could also press and turn, it's another option. Who can say that would be good or bad? Oh man, this is tough. I really hope he fails some things. Like, there's still a chance, right? Even though I got turned over. And maybe I should have just played safer so that I didn't get scored on. But, you know, obviously I really wanted to score on my own drive. But, I don't know, it's... Maybe I was a bit stupid there. But it was so bad, wasn't it? The fucking... The pitch invasion was so terrible for me. So fucking terrible for me. Like, it was unbelievable. Like, nightmare. Ball carrier stunned. Other players stunned. I quite like my chain to get people back, but... I guess I should have just not 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 got conceded on. Maybe I should have prioritised that. But it's easy to say it after he scored, right? It's easy to say that after he scored. I, I, don't, know. I don't know. I was pretty unlucky to win in 36, wasn't I? And now there's a chance if he rolls some bad dice, but he hasn't yet. We'll see. <laughs> well, there is still rolls to be made uh, during the game. has found an opening of a few squares into Jimmy's uh, pitch. Now uh, Galencio has two rerolls left. Which can be used in any of his uh, rolls for the turns. Oh, catch the ball. Still, he's going to have to do some stuff. And another dodge, and that's uh, a lot of elves in the same area. Still, uh, some people could uh, say that the uh, there is a chance for uh, Jimmy to hit the ball. Maybe, maybe it's impossible to know, you know. Uh, but it seems that uh, that guard, the uh, dwarf there, implies uh, that. And seems that Jimmy saw the play. Guess the roll that he needed doesn't pick up the ball pick up the ball with some uh, random dual roll in a six oh that was good rolling by uh, Jimmy I think he's gonna cage the cagers Well, if you don't want to, if you want to avoid watching us, uh, Sans Licker, you can uh, subscribe. If you can't uh, or don't want to, maybe you get one of these lucky uh, 
gives to the subs. That is uh, your opinion, uh, Odon Tuchelis. I think there is a, a possibility that one of the guard dwarves moves yet. Well, okay, I'll tell you guys uh, what happened. Galencio did the cage except the bottom uh, left corner and Jimmy saw the chance and went for the ball. I think uh, Galencio may be overreached there. Now Jimmy has six turns to try to carry that ball from there to the touchdown. Also, four less uh, elves. Still, if this goes to overtime right now, Galencio is at a maximum of uh, 10 players. I'll say if you don't... Uh, Galencio's play was a good play, except the part of uh, leaving a hole to so the ball uh, could get a 2D. That's more or less what I guess, I guess that was the problem. Maybe he was, you know, uh, he was bait for the quad skulls and uh, Jimmy's complete moral destruction. And now Galencio has found, oh, and found the 1D with Russell that puts the ball back in the hands of an elf. which is a lineman, so he is movement six. The ball has the ball, the elf has the ball, but no more rerolls for the rest of the half and overtime, if we reach overtime for a... Galenci. Gets a very important pow versus a, or maybe he chose the, the the push. He did it with a ball! Oh, <laughs> what an idiot! <laughs> now that will create a situation, uh, right now this could create a situation in which uh, Jimmy could be able to hit the ball with block dice. Oh, Shambadad with the raid. Thanks, uh, Shambadad. We are in a no advice, a big win of the game. We are not providing any kind of advice to Jimmy or, or Galencio in any way, shape or form. Double push. <laughs> Oh, a guard door gets in a general area of the ball. Oh, 2D is the pow. Gets the KO. The elf doesn't pick up the ball. Neither does the. Oh my god. Oh my god. 
Okay, that was stressful. Also, what a bunch of absolutely incompetent players, and none of them were able to catch the ball. Well, Perivale, uh, I think it was, it was the use of the guard skill. I think the Jimmy's uh, ball carrier is next to the ball, next to the guard. Now, it seems that Jimmy hasn't used his bleach jet. Jimmy gets the push. That uh, removes the tackle zones, Elven tackle zones from the ball. Nice uh, double scales there. In what some people will call a not very relevant uh, block. Okay, I'm missing it, but did uh, Jimmy already blitz? Because now I think about it, I don't see the... Oh, there you go, that's the blitz. Okay, it's the pow. Side the step so that player can choose the square to die. Doesn't die, unbelievable. Going for the ball. All the fives in the wall. Not sixes, you know, because sixes will be, you know, too much. Just fives. And Jimmy re-rolls. And turn 12 for the elves. Very uh, interesting uh, position here for the ball. There is a chance. There is a chance that the uh, Galencio finds a way to hit the ball. Disgusted to the rolls. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh. If there was a third uh, option, I think uh, <laughs> the letter G followed by the letter G. Oh, my God, would have been useless. Not an armor break, absolutely right. <laughs> Another uh, Earth that survives. That's a uh, one, two, three, four. Baldy Hearts uh, Elves and one, two, 
3 KO Alves. You can say it's a dicing because uh, Jimmy in the third one of the game uh, rolled up skulls. That makes you immune to any dicing comment. Because you can always say, why are you talking about a dicing? I rolled up skulls first turn. Another power on the side of the stepper, which this time will choose the square to die. Okay, just a KO. Well, one of the Galencios elves decided to injure himself while he was trying to blitz the ball. So that makes things uh, very easy for Jimmy that decided to follow track and get rid of another uh, two elves. Johnny Fai behaved that could be seen as advice, you know, you know, advising him to score. As Jimmy played the way he wants to play. I was going to say who made that uh, Johnny Five a moderator, but then I remember that Johnny Five is a moderator in my YouTube, in my uh, Twitch channel. Baron Baki with the honesty here. I think those stones there could have been uh, other kind of plays or situations. Yes. But, uh, you know, Johnny Five, the problem is I have too much fun playing Chivalry 2. But uh, I'm going to get a Discord server and I'll make you a moderator there too. We don't know what happened there, could have been uh, anything, but... Uh... And 14 for the elves. That, that was just a trap sack there, that wasn't, uh, that obviously wasn't it. <laughs> another attempt at a gym cage. <laughs> Forgetting which guy had the ball. It's, I mean, this game is difficult to play sometimes. You know, I've got two blitzes. I can't be expected to know which one has the ball, can I? Jesus Christ. That's easy to say, Johnny Five and Chivale to the ones uh, uh, swinging their weapons wildly are the ones that die the most. Usually at my hands. As it's not like I need a moderator uh, there full time or anything. There is, I think nowadays I'm getting very good numbers for Chivalry Standard, nearly two digits. Which is surprising with a, for a game that has so many players. Okay, Jimmy here with a mighty blow uh, blitz, and again the mighty blow. Complete the uh, disappointment.
And this could be going to uh, overtime if Jimmy scores. Let's be clear about this. Let's call things by their name. If the result of the game at the end of the second world half is 1-1, then it will be uh, overtime. Guaranteed. 100% overtime. Full overtime. Turn 15, the, uh, the elves have one, two, three, four players left in the pitch. Herp, derp, base, base, base. This won't fail. I'm on the right. Burp, burp, burp. And the game screws up, but we don't say that kind of things uh, in this channel. We have absolutely faith in the. Good working of the Blue Ball 3 uh, client in this special uh, occasion. No, no kicks, no kicks. There is nothing there. So it's just pure four plus rolls. Yes, I had a step on the ball. I wonder if there is any way to decide where the side step uh, will go for uh, Jimmy. That's the thrower. If the thrower is still for sure, hands would have blocked. Nothing of that will happen. It. Oh my god, Jimmy found a way to get the side stepper away from the ball. Not an armor break. Jimmy is still in trouble. Again, Sunny Slicker, we, we don't know. We don't know. We, we, uh, I can I express an opinion in that uh, respect. We don't know what's going on in the, his uh, house in Darlington, which is a place with not many darlings and is much less than a town. And uh, yeah, now turn 16 for the elves. <laughs> they finally failed that roll. Well, it seems you you weren't here when the when the uh, wrestler decided to kill himself. Is this a moment of history for the Blue Bowl tournaments? No, it's the pow with mighty blow. Gain nothing, and Jimmy decides to score. One one, uh, which uh, takes us to the overtime, and overtime how it works nowadays is the whole overtime. So it's gonna be a. Uh, Oh, the, the, those were really good uh, KO rolls. Only one of the KOs uh, remain. So it's, uh, what's that? Seven. Uh, seven. Uh, uh, 
Seven Elven, no rerolls, but if uh, Pro Elves are good at something, it's a score in two turns. But even if they score in two turns, as I was saying, they have to play the whole half. So Galencio has to be able to keep the ball for all this time, a score as late as possible, and then stop Jimmy from counter scoring. And there are no kicks at the end of the overtime. There's just a black screen and you get the final result because Officius ref again. And one elf less. Is this a dicing? Yeah, that is one guy. There is a, they were not uh, allowed to give any advice. I highly doubt that when the time of that the setup comes back, uh, your text will still be <laughs> close in the chat. Second me, what's that? that? That looks like an, you were giving advice to someone. <laughs> and here comes the pass. He used the pass skill, pass goes, cuts the ball. Elf runs like the wind. Open the back of chips, uh, gentlemen. We have a Tato here. Again, friendly reminder to everybody that even if Valencia scores, Jimmy can uh, counter score. This is going to reach turn 24. One way or the other. Officious ref. What's the deal here with the with the ads? Jesus Christ, is Jimmy pressing the ads button every five seconds? Oh, gets the pow. Interesting side step choice. He has to choose between uh, six squares, one of them. Armor wreck. More pushes. Double GF five. Decides to reroll the whole thing. Here we go, lads. Magic in the air. Seems there's going to be a dodge involved. Ooh, guess the one. Last reroll. Now, Jimmy, for those of us who know, has two options. He can choose to reroll or not reroll. 
Time bank active. This is a big one. Big thing. He has time. Also, remember everybody that Jimmy got into this for only a one. So this is his fault. He has to reroll it and get another one. And a turnover. So one in nine there. Absolutely dramatic result for uh, Jimmy there. <laughs> Nearly the worst case scenario. It would be been only worse if the elf was dead. If the dwarf was dead. Now, six players for uh, uh, Galentio. He has to put three on the LOS. Jimmy has a full team and he has to score as quickly as possible and then get the ball from the elves, avoiding another score to not go 3 2. All right. Another pow with mighty blow. KO. Five elves on the pitch. Jimmy has six times to score. Now the big question is what's going to be able to do Galenti to try to stop the dwarves. Jimmy has bench, yes. As a reminder uh, that the whoever loses here is not out of the tournament. They'll have another chance. At least that's what was more or less what I was told about the rules of the tournament. Jimmy progressing, consolidating the cage. Wait, does the pitch look different? Like it's very sunny or something? Oh, going for the blitz there. Both down, good enough. Another KO. No, this is over. I'm not. I'm not going to try for the win. <laughs> Just take the 50-50. It's so easy for him to score on me. Unfortunately, it's. I can't go for the win. I've decided. 
And then you heard the words from the house, uh, the horse mouth. Uh, Jimmy has to made that decision. <laughs> I can't even make a GFI, right? Like, if I'd gone over the line and maybe... But you saw how easy he scored in two, right? It's just a three plus and he scores, basically. Like, it's impossible. It's just impossible to defend against them, pretty much. Sad. Pretty disappointed, to be honest. If I if I just uh, if I'd just been more more conservative here on the uh, on my drive, <sighs> I've got no choice. I've I've got no rerolls left. I wanted to not you know not concede. I wanted to not concede, but. Uh, After I did concede, I don't think I can go for a win here. Turnover out. I mean, it was just so easy to score, wasn't it? Maybe I should have gone for uh, like columns or something. It's just so hard to defend against elves, though, isn't it? Really. If they have enough uh, players to pick up the ball, blitz, and move another one, just. Yeah, like th even three players. I mean, I guess he could have three players, <laughs> not four players. But I wasn't. I wasn't even over the line, right? I wasn't even over the line that turn, so I'd have to do a GFI to score. And if I do that, I might not even score at all. Maybe I should have not used my rerolls and then had two rerolls. And if I have two rerolls, maybe I can go for the win. But I just wanted him to not score. He's not down to two players, so all, all his kills will get back. So I'm not, I'm not discussing it anyway. I made my decision, that's it. It's not, it's not up for debate. I'm not getting advice. It's just. It's just shit, isn't it? And I definitely can't score him over. In, I definitely can't turn him over in, over in two turns. It's just not possible. And this is still a chance to win, right? And if I lose, there's still a chance to uh, qualify, so. Just annoyed I went for that. Just annoyed I went for the, you know, a bit balls to the wall for the skull. But then I didn't think I'd be able to turn him over and score. Yeah, free loss because the format, yeah. I mean, he can still win, you know, there is a 50% chance. There is a 50% chance, yeah. There is a 50% chance, yeah. The KO rolls run lucky, yeah. But even then, like no matter how many players he had, it was pretty easy from just three plus blitz through, and then uh, you know if I'd done columns, he'd have two plus. So like he was guaranteed to score if I'd done uh, if I'd done columns. Like what can, you know, what can you do really? I guess I mean I should have just not been one nil down. If it'd been nil nil though, he'd have dackered and he might have won, right? He might have just won. Like if I hadn't scored on my offense. Maybe Dakers and he, he wins uh, he wins one 0 in the second half. So yeah, it's been a very entertaining game. Lots of action, lots of things happening. Yeah, and it's fifty fifty. No advice it's not, was given. It's not necessarily a loss, is it? There is a chance of a win, and like that's pretty good from where the first. I, th I thought it was you know I thought I'd lost the first half. The, where the first exactly. Half, this I is lost. this is short in this game. Is won and lost and lost at the same time. Yeah. Yep. Only when you the, get the black screen, you know, the quantum physics qualifies into final result for the game. Well, I nearly just ended the turn then. That would have been the sure way to not win. <laughs> I literally nearly just pressed end turn. I was so close. 3 2. And that's he it, that's the touchdown. And he won. Now, he won. Uh, there you, you can go. See it. You can Marco, much speed is the third to my menu. Now you can see it. Oh yeah, now you can see it, yes. 3-2 for the Elves. <sighs> for fuck's sake. Oh, well. I mean, Anya would have lost. Once it down to 50-50. Uh, that was it, wasn't it? But, I mean, that kick, it was just it was just the kickoff event, wasn't it? I just lost because of the kickoff event. It's so fucking stupid. It's so fucking stupid. The bloody pitch invasion just lost me the game instantly. Um, so maybe I should have just 
try to get out of the half at nil-nil. Maybe I should have just tried to escape the half at nil-nil. Who knows? Anyway, the, the comeback was good, wasn't it? The comeback was good, at least. Yeah, uh, the comeback was good, yes. Yeah, but I don't know. And I could have won the toss as well, right? So I could have won the toss and failed. And then I could have won the kicks and failed. So he was like 25% to win, really, going in overtime. And he got both. So what can you do? What can you do? Um, congrats to Galentio. And there is a second chance, yeah, I'll be playing... I'll be playing somebody like Strider, probably, <laughs> with on lizards. <laughs> Fantastic. Um, so, yeah, there you go. Thank you, thank you, Faimir, for coming in. And... No worries, as always, a pleasure to be here. Glorious. And thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.